tips and tricks on virtual learning. Yeah, so the first big thing with virtual learning is going to be setting up your child for success. Um, wanting to make sure that they have their own area that's a quiet space and ensuring that they have all their materials that they might need throughout the day and that they're accessible to them. Um, before you start every day, making sure that your child is able to pick out a reward that they can earn at the end of the day for completion of um, their school day virtually. Uh, certain kids might even need to have that broken up into segments of the day. So you could do like an, a reward at 10.30 a.m., at 12.30, and then again at 2.30 at the very end of the day, uh, or two times a day, whatever works best for your child. Definitely, and with that being said, kind of going into the visual part of it, um, having a visual schedule for them of the activities and assignments that they have to do for the day. So for example, they'll come and sit down at the table and say, you know, today's Wednesday, so we have reading first, then um, science, then math, and we have a lunch break, um, and then we finish off the day with arts and crafts and whatever the case may be. But it's super important when we make that visual schedule for them to also have movement breaks in there as well. Um, you know, sometimes when I'm sitting at the desk all day, I get really antsy and I just have to take a walk around the clinic and give myself a walk when I'm working from home. Um, get outside, get some fresh air. Exactly. So make sure we're incorporating those movement breaks as well so we can prevent some of those issues that we have during the school day. And then another visual that we can have set up is rules and expectations of what to expect and the behavior that we have for school during virtual learning. So making sure we have, you know, a quiet voice, we're raising our hand, we're focused, we have listening ears, we're looking at the computer. Um, if we need mom or dad's help, like, you know, we come over, these are the things that we would need help with. But other than that, we can ask our teacher, things that we can ask our teacher and ask for help, and then things that we may need mom or dad for, for help. Yeah, absolutely. And going off of the rules with the visuals, um, you know, if your child is having a difficult time with one of those instructions, um, maybe they're talking while their teacher is giving instructions or something, then you can just kind of point to that visual that says like quiet voice or listening ears um, to kind of cue them to uh, modify their behavior a little bit. Um, as opposed to having to get involved in you vocally responding to them, which is then going to be a, a disruption for the whole class. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's it. Awesome. Bye. See you soon.